Hey open source friends, it's Jim here with another GIMP tutorial. Today we're going to look at adding custom brushes to our system. Out of the box you get a few options, but if you really want to take your artwork to the next level and add some flexibility to your drawings, you're going to want to add some of these custom tips. Okay, let's just hop right in and take a look. Okay, so over here in GIMP, let's take a look at what we get out of the box with the paintbrush tool. So I have my paintbrush tool selected, and then this dialog pops up here on the left hand side. And there's a bunch of different widgets here that you can change the size of your brush up. For instance, here, let's add, a, let's add a canvas first here. Add our canvas. And you can see my brush size here. It's this little circle. I could increase that size. I could change some of the different things. Well, the angle you're not really going to be able to see with a circle, but let's choose a different brush here. So this rectangle brush, for instance, and let's increase the size so you can see that a little better. So that brush is there. I could change the angle of that so it's at a different angle, kind of like this. And you can make it a little harder. So right now, do you see how the edges are a little bit blurred on that? We could change the hardness here. We can make that 100%, and that's going to have a nice hard edge like that. And there's a bunch of different other things you can play with. So if you've adjusted any of these, for instance, say I brought the hardness way down and we have these soft edges, really soft edges like that, I could always come over here to the right and click the reset button and it'll reset it to the default hardness, which in this case is 95. And so you can adjust your brushes a lot there and you can see what options you have by clicking on this section here. And now most of the, these brushes are actually default with the GIMP system. I had at one point, I think a while back, added these three wave brushes here, but all the rest of these are defaults. If you want to be able to look at these in a little more detail and, and filter these, you can actually select this little dialog here at the bottom where it says open brush selection dialog. If I click that, then I can see these brushes over here and I actually now have these filters to work with. So I can type in filters here directly or I can click this little arrow on the right hand side and then it gives me some section headers here. So for instance, I have basic brushes and in order to get out of a brush that you select, you actually have to click the brush again or cl click the category again, rather. Then there's fun, there's legacy, media, sketch, splatters, and texture. So you see that the waves don't actually show up in any of those categories. And let me just show you real quick why that's happening. So if we go up to our edit and our preferences, and we look under here under our folders, we have a brushes folder. If I click that, now this is where our custom brushes are actually being introduced. So on my computer, it's in home, jimmyfisk.config, GIMP 210 brushes. So if I select that and then I click over here, the show file location widget, that will open up this dialog here. And in my brushes dialog, you can see that I have three custom brushes that I've added. If I wanted these to appear in a category, I can simply add a new folder. And let's call this waves. And I can just grab these and I can pull them into that category. Okay, so now that I've done that, I would actually have to come through here and I would have to restart GIMP in order for that to show up. You see that waves don't appear here. So let's just do that real quick. I'm gonna close out and I'm going to open it back up. Okay, so now under my brushes, we have this new waves filter. Okay, great, so they're all categorized that way. So let's go look at adding a new brush type to our system so we can start playing with that. So I'm going to go to Firefox and over here I have this watercolor splatters uh, brush set that I found. And the cool thing about the brushes in GIMP is actually you can interchange them with the brushes in Photoshop. So these are actually Photoshop brushes as you can tell from the URL here. But if we come down here, we can see what these are gonna kind of look like and they get really interesting and cool looking when you add some color to them. So that's pretty neat. So let's just click this downloads button. And let's save this file. And let's take a look at our, our zip file that, that downloaded. And let's just extract this into our downloads folder and press extract. Okay, awesome. So we have our downloads here. And now let's go back to GIMP and let's just add these watercolors into that uh, that appropriate location. So this is essentially really the, the file that, that we need to worry about, I believe, this ABR file. So let's go back to GIMP and let's just go to Edit Preferences, Folders, Brushes, and then let's open up this folder one more time and let's go to our file system folders here. 
And so inside brushes, I'm going to create a new folder called watercolor. And then I'm just going to drag all this stuff besides, I guess, the zip file. I don't really need that into that watercolor folder. So now we have those brushes in there. Now let's take a look what happens if we come back to GIMP and we restart the system. So we'll close out, start it back up. And now if we unselect waves and we select watercolor, you see that we have all these new interesting brushes. So let's start playing around with some of those. Let's come here, let's create a new canvas and let's grab some watercolor brushes and maybe we'll, we'll bring the size way down. We have a really big size there, but we can start playing with some of these things. And there's all sorts of different shapes and things you can play with. Uh, I probably want to add some new colors. So maybe let's get some orange colors in there. And they kind of play and blend really nicely with each other in some really inter interesting ways. So you could probably create some really cool pieces of artwork by playing around with this stuff a little bit more. But essentially, that's all you really need to get going to add some of those custom new brushes. You could go and start Googling around. There's all sorts of different sources for, for new brushes. And you can add new sets and then just make sure you add them to the appropriate folder so you can then filter them like you're filtering over here. And then you're good to go start drawing with new brushes. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Stay tuned for more GIMP tutorials in the near future. And thanks for watching. Take care.